Thank you, Pat. I'm glad to see a lot of friends out in the audience, like uh, Elmer Kelton. Hi, Elmer. Uh, you know, I could. I don't think we could have a better day today to be gathered out here, uh, storytelling. We've got a chuck wagon over there cooking, uh, cooking dinner. We've got a beautiful day with uh, no humidity, and from somebody from Austin, that's something to brag about. You know, y'all can take that more for granted than I can. Uh, I'm happy to report to you that so far as I know, there is no hurricane headed toward Texas, uh, which I'm, uh, and on top of all that, Texas is beating Oklahoma, so I don't know how it could be much better a day from somebody like me from Austin. I'd say great, great afternoon for storytelling, and I won't uh, take up a lot of time, I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about the uh, Texas Rangers and their relationship with ranchers. Uh, which I've been uh, researching some for the book I'm working on now. But let me introduce to you the folks that we've got here, tell you a bit more about them, and then what I would envision is just a very casual round of storytelling. Uh, we've all got uh, lavalier mics so we can sit back here on the chairs and take it easy and not have to be up here at the microphone. Uh, our first storyteller is uh, Al Lohman. Uh, Pat McDaniel asked me to be here to, uh, to be a moderator. If you're familiar with the regulator and moderator more, war, uh, in Shelby County, uh, especially dealing with, uh, with uh, Al Lohman, being a moderator is a, uh, an awesome responsibility. Uh, I've got my watch on, I'm going to have to watch him like a hawk, you know, or else he'll talk the whole time. And I, it'll all be interesting, but we wouldn't get to the other, the other folks. I first knew Al when he was with the uh, Institute of Texan Cultures in uh, San Antonio. He uh, finally moved on to that nirvana of all good state employees and retired. Uh, and now he's his own one-man Institute of Texan Culture, so I've heard him in a lot of, uh, a lot of talks over the years, and a fine storyteller, a fellow book collector, and a lover of books, and he's even bought some books from me, and probably I've bought some books from him over the years. We've traded money marbles and chalks. And, I think, and then our, our second storyteller, and I guess I'll go ahead and introduce everybody now, and then we'll, then we'll talk, uh, is Jody Jen of Austin. Just uh, got through meeting him, uh, but he also is going to be working on a book on the uh, on, on one particular Texas Ranger, one Dan Hines, who, as he explains, was his great grand uncle. Uh, Captain Hines was one of the original captains when the uh, Texas Department of Public Safety was created uh, in 1935, and uh, Jody tells me he's got four or five thick notebooks of material now that he's collected on the captain, and he's going to talk. Uh, specifically about his relationship uh, with the rangers and ranching and I'll follow that up with a little bit more detail or maybe perceive that a little more detail on rangers and ranching. Uh, and then we'll go to Dudley Kramer who uh, lives in Oakland, California. He is a retired uh, engineer with, the, uh, with Chevron. Uh, now as I said lives in Oakland. Uh, he's, his most recent book was uh, uh, Pecos Ranchers in the Lincoln County War. Uh, when I first met him he'd had the really the, the ultimate horror of anybody who loves books, and that is that his house had burned uh, in California and he lost his entire book collection. I, I, I can't imagine being able to continue with my life if I lost all my books, but uh, here's a man who has endured that. Uh, he also was co-editor of a book uh, done by uh, the ranching center there at Texas Tech University, Early Ranching in West Texas. Uh, as I told him that now that I work for TxDOT, I can say this with tremendous authority, it is very rare to find an engineer who can write. Uh, usually those two, uh, those two things do not go together. Uh, my apologies to any of you who are engineers, but it's true. Uh, so anyway, we'll start off with Al, Al Lohman. <laughs> 